Hello, I'm Tom. I'm Tom. I'm Tom. I'm Tom. Tom. Hello, I'm Tom and welcome back to my channel, Shirt Hunter. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. And no, I'm not starting the video in my kitchen. I have to excuse the noise as, um, yeah, it's busy along this road and I want you to get the Elizabeth Bridge in there from Buda to Pest. We're in Buda. So we're in Buda Pest, as you've seen from the title of this video. This is Shirt Shopping. This is European Edition Volume, I don't know, three is it? <laughs> Yeah, we've done Belgium, Denmark, and now we are in uh, Hungary. And there is two videos to come from Budapest. Well, technically Budapest, the other one's 35, 40 minutes outside the city centre. But I'll explain that coming up. Don't worry about that. This video is shirt shopping, and I really hope you enjoy what we find. We're up in our game on this channel. Right, let's get to it. So here we are at our first stop. You can't really see it. It's called Football Factor. So we're running in front of me. Right. So I'm looking at So we've got Barca's, Liverpool, and there's kids, obviously. We've got Fenivaris, which will be going to their club shop at some point and stadium, hopefully. So we've got PSG. Mm, got two different prices. Club, I'm guessing that's some form of membership. That's 75 English pounds. Oh, now that's now we're talking about what a shirt that is. Again, same price, 75 quid, but that bar shirt's absolute class, isn't it? Let's be honest, that is beautiful. Again, still a decent shirt from Barca. I mean, not for me, but there you go. It's Atletico Madrid, isn't it? I've not seen this shirt. I think the sponsor straight away that makes it ruins the shirt the rest of it's pretty good because this is 75 quid but it is the uh player version of the shirt so there you go got chelsea's one before the sponsor came on still a nice shirt nice color but no that's not a song is it um right got that shirt hungry shirts of course there's a shock oh there it is finger beauty Buy Munich shirts. It's very old. Well, obviously it's been well, everyone's probably seen them, but there's all the Bayern Munich shirts. Not in, um, yeah, on the air already, so, you know, what player version. Arsenal. You get another great shirt, but these days you kind of got to get the player version, haven't you? Obviously money depending, but to get the quality of shirt, I mean, the difference is quite staggering now. Wow. Wow. That's obviously the Roma shirt now, that is class. But again, not player version. That's more 80 quid. That's Roma's new shirt. See, you've shirt, it's all right, to be fair, but what does everyone think of that sponsor? With the lightning on it there. And obviously replicated on that shirt as well. And again, replicated on them shirts. And there's United's controversial. I've not seen it in person before. And no, it's still it's a no from me, but that is a yes from me. <laughs> That's class. Class, 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 that shirt. That badge. I mean, come on. But again, it's not. It's only the standard version. And that's 80 quid, so it's very keen on price. Stuff in a sailor. Spain jacket. That Italy shirt, I've got that, that's quality. That Spain shirt's nice as well. Bayern, Germany, I've got that. Juventus. I mean, that's a nice Bayern shirt. 23,449. That's still 55 quid. In the sale, 55 quid in the sale. Again, Arsenal shirt is very, very nice. But again, Adidas, they don't seem to have anything in the uh, player versions of the shirt. 
and Real Madrid. Got the long sleeve version, I can play a version, which is very nice. And again, that's very nice. Some very nice shirts in here, but very keen on price and nothing overly unique in here. But there you go. There's your hungry shirts again. Right, I've got one more place to go today because we got here quite late, as I mentioned before. So, um, one of the shops to go to was the one of the tram, I think, over there or something. Anyway, right. This next door looks like a real find, so right, let's get there and find out. Right, after much finding, it's there, shop, football, football, what online it's called, Derby Football Store, something like that, named after Derby, oh, there it is. Thank God for that. Took some finding this place, but here we go, so this is one that should be pretty good. Derby Football Sport, I think it's called online, but here it is, Football Sport. So, yeah, well, let's uh, have a look. Yeah, yeah, this, this time I don't have name, just football shop. Okay. Good. Well, last 10 years, uh, it's this name, very good football shop. It's a really good shirt, isn't it? This is like a bit of a treasure trove if you're a football fan, let's be honest. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 Oh, it's a It's Lille, I think. No. Ah, Thailand. Interesting. Who do you think of wearing that shirt? Wow. Lovely shirt. So you could hang to here. It's nice real literature, shirt, isn't it? Nice with a purple, bit of a classic, bit of a throwback. That one is. Another throwback, the Siemens one. Just screams. Just screams in a Dean Zidane. 18,000 is about 40 pounds. I really like that shirt. I liked it when it was out originally. And uh, it, put it, blue, it reminds you of wearing that shirt because Valencia is a pretty iconic shirt, I want to be honest. Classic old Spain shirt. It's pretty cool as well. What's your name? Sorry to ask your name. Uh, my name? Yes. Balind. 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 So, you told me early because I wasn't recording, that's good work. Um, yeah. Do shirts at an, actually uh, go to an auction? Uh -huh. Is that correct? Correct, yes. Yes. Do you know, uh, seven, eight years before in the shop, I have with name every original Zidane, Beckham, Rooney, uh, Inzaghi, uh, Schweinsteiger, every, every name. Mm. Nobody interested. Everybody wants to have New Jersey, yeah. the last model in original plastic. Ah, uh, right, yeah. Uh, st stamper certificate document, holograms, mm. and buy it, pay me 80 euro, 100, 100 euro mm. for retro jersey. Nobody, 30 euro, I pray, please, pay, because no, 30 euro, just second hand, we don't need second hand. So it's got more and more and people. Nothing. And after pandemic, mm. two years, the people sitting at home, every has camera, and yes. uh, he uh, explained what he has at home. Uh, mm. the, and, and, and all the world could, could see. I have a jersey, I have a scarf, I have pins. So, <laughs> yeah. After the beginning, the big boom, after 20, 90, uh, 2020, the beginning, so for the retro jersey. Retro. So, have you got a one favorite in the minute? No, no, this is... Too, ma <laughs> too many. This, this uh, Korean guy by it, uh, uh, Newcastle. Ah, Newcastle, yes. This jersey, but, or, but what the, uh, now what I, have I mean, like I saw before, this is going to be a really rogue shout from me, is that you won't come across, I don't know, I think it's nine, late 90s. Pretty sure it's late 90s Leicester City shirt. I mean, that's... Pff, if you're a Leicester fan, I'll put on here, if you're a Leicester fan, come here, because it's, that's... It's, yeah. yeah. It's a not long time before I buy this. Do you know, these things I buy in auction. Right. For each I pay 100, 110 euros. 
Right, was one. This is also I buy in auction. Yeah. Because this I buy in package. Right, okay. 60, 70 jersey, and I could make price. Is it you go to an auction or is it on? You go to it. Go to it, right. Before we came five, six people. Now 50 people in auction. Everybody bought by ah, Is it very big? Food Yes, very big auction. Concurrent. Very big auction. <laughs> Crazy. What's like one of the. Rare, like rarest shirt you think you've got in it, like classic and old retro type of shirts. And the Argentinian one. And Tevez. That's 58. 58,000. Ah, yes, that is proper classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just saw that. Before. The David Beckham documentaries out the minute, so that. Oh, yeah, very nice. That's a remortgage my house, I think, it's to come back in. Uh, from countryside, and it's yeah. in Budapest. Ah, right, okay, yeah. I'm planning on going to the um, Pancho Arena Pancho tomorrow, tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow, yes. Yeah. That's interesting, but it was not... Uh, it's a very new stadium, very mm. new team. It's a team of a Premier Minister. Ah, it's, yes. Uh, he lives in this village. Ah, right, right, cool, yeah. Does he make it for yeah, local, yeah. local. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a, one of the most iconic Germany shirts as well, that is. How long have you been here? How long? Uh, I collected since 1970. 52 right. 52 years collected. Just shop I have from 2000. 23 years I have this shop here. Yeah. But you have your own collection or is it just everything's here? Uh, I collected. Everybody say this question, give it me. Why I sold the things when I am collector? Mm. Of course, I, I collect I collected for the pin. I have 2,500 pin till 1970. Right. <laughs> after, you see which is mean? After 1970, it's a, this is a modern pin with bottom. Mm. I collected similar, which is, which is a stick pin. So, yes. Stick pin. I see, yeah. It uh, looks so. This is a album, and I collected the same. It's wow. to, today, many club now exist here, changes the logo, changes the name. It's every stick pin, you see? Not with bottom. Fantastic. You see the all Stock City. Yeah. Here is a Rangers. Here is a Newcastle. Wow. Here is a Borussia Dortmund. Partizan, yeah. Berger, every all order in the shop. That's now, fantastic. Now I have yeah. five. At home I have more, 2,000. Only this <laughs> second. This is I don't sold. And what I am, I am very, very stupid, man. I also invested a <laughs> lot of money last year for this. In auction, I pay 800 euro. For well, a special auction, the, the pin in the auction, not only jersey sold, mm. a scarf, a pin. Oh, all right, many, many memorabilia, things. yeah. Yeah, yeah, this, all the magazine, old photos, old newspaper. Wow, uh, yeah. Uh, do you know, autograph. Uh, mm. so, Put into so a couple of shares. Wow, isn't that cool? Because so, yeah. sometimes I'll go, like I said before, go to the grounds. I think I'll go to, um, I'll go to about the... Puka State, I'm going to Fenivaros tomorrow. Fenivaros. Yes, have a. I always go to a club shop as well, just a look. And the, um, I said before, the Pancho Arena as well tomorrow. Because that's been on all over social media how unique yeah, the stadium yeah, is. Yeah, unique stadium. Yeah, but this is not a very old stadium, it's a new stadium. Why is so? Uh... Is it only in, is it an academy side to play? A young. Uh, this is our, uh, our Premier Minister. Yeah. The country, Premier Minister, his name Orban Victor. Mm. He li he born in these villages. And he make it special for his in his villages. Ah, so, so this is a local patriotism. So Ah, so they're in low league starting. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. hoping to go yeah, yeah. up. And, <laughs> and no nobody play from villages. Every big starts from all world. <laughs> <laughs> the, for me this is only hobby shop. Yes. Uh, do you know why I could? I it's my my private shop. I don't pay. I don't pay rent. Mm. Uh, football factor rent is a shop. Uh, ah. Everybody in the street, everybody rent is a shop, and the price uh, so very very high. So I have here on the corner a big store. This is my business. Ah, okay, yeah, so I like it, yeah. make it money from this. this ah. Sometimes as I all days. When you come in collectors and I spoke, spoke, ah, yes, yeah, so uh, more interview. Did you, <laughs> interview so. did you get quite a lot of tourists now? Yeah, yeah. more and more. It's summer, it's summer, summertime, yes. Yeah. So from for me, it's the season beginning from May till uh, October. 
Mm-hmm. Every season, I uh, sold about uh, five, six thousand jersey, which is mean uh, three or four thousand for European countries and mm. two thousand from Hungary. Brilliant. So please. Yeah. Brilliant, yeah. yeah. I mean, that Wales top's pretty rareish. Not that I want a Wales top, but no offense, Wales. Um, well, maybe there is, I don't know. <laughs> Only joking. Um, but yeah, that's pretty rare. Wales top. Oh, skulls now. Now we're talking. Who needs Gerald and Lampard and you got skulls? <laughs> I'm going to trigger the comments now. I'm sorry, anyone. Northern Ireland's a nice shirt. Middlesbrough. No, that is a class, proper classic. Would be a gift from a headmaster. You used to, like I said, a headmaster of a dozen school. I never told you, actually. And anyway, headmaster of a dozen school is, was my teacher in year six. So I think that's quite a lot of money. It's 20,000. I think that's Sheffield United. It's got to be. Um, anniversary. Yeah. Yeah, four so. It's the badge. Yeah. Badge is really nice on it. Yeah. Really appreciate you standing there. The gentleman who runs that store. I mean, come on. Goes to auctions um, every week, selling thousands of shirts in the summer. So it is a real tourist hotspot there. Apparently in the summer, like you said, and some. Some of the shirts aren't in fantastic condition, let's be honest, but some of the retro stuff in there, you're not going to see anywhere else, are you? Let's be honest. So that is a massive find. We are going to purchase, come back tomorrow and purchase one shirt from that store. Welcome to day two, Budapest. And we're at Lions Sports. I've got the three Lions there. Come on, England. Um, well, maybe not come on, England, after um, then we get beat 4-0 by Hungary at home. Um, anyway, let's go in. <laughs> Budapest teams. There we go. Come on, come on, England. Not the England. I think it's, this is a great England shirt, to be honest, isn't it? 2010 World Cup. You rare to see that England shirt with brand new tags. It's 56 pound that England top. Again, another classic England top. I'm guessing similar price point. Yeah, the same, but look at that one. Got a better range of England shirts than England does. Some of these are absolutely classic England shirts, and this place is five minutes from where I'm staying. Don't know why that shirt just reminds me of Jamie Vardy for some reason. It reminds me of Jamie Vardy wearing that shirt. It screams out Ronaldinho. I mean, the quality shirts in there is absolutely brilliant, let's be honest. Budapest coming up trumps. Denmark. Try to film this the best I can, but it's quite difficult. Need to employ a cameraman. <laughs> Wishful thinking. I mean, that's a really nice top, isn't it? It's a French one. It's a really nice shirt. I love this one. 3500 is quite expensive. Off. You know, often see a Korea shirt. Well, you maybe do, it's just maybe just me. I've not seen many anyway. There's some club ones coming up here. Here's the Arsenal one. Just spotted right at the end. Fan version, but I mean, yeah, it's all right. Been a lot of hype about it, isn't there? Oh, classic Arsenal one. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Pink Arsenal. Fair dues. Get yourselves to Budapest, everyone. Get yourselves to Budapest, New Zealand. I mean, look at it. Oh, USA one. Not the best USA ones, but oh, that one's all right. The collar. Really like that. The collar. That's a nice USA shirt. Now, no, definitely not the Liverpool's biggest fan. Ew, ew. But that shirt, it's, it's a bit iconic, isn't it? I mean, if you're a Liverpool fan, I'm sure you love that shirt. 
Again, there's going to be another row shout. Ashley Young wearing that shirt. Quite a row shout. Anderson. <laughs> Just as we scale back the collection, some absolutely brilliant shirts in here. I mean, now, I've seen some rare shirts. Been here, Leicester. An old Leicester shirt. Sheffield Wednesday. And uh, now, Crew Alexander. Quality into my shirt. Lovely into shirt. And if Inter fancy having their goalkeeper back, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Um, Anana, what's my name? Sure, I've seen that. I don't know. It must be a couple of years ago. Is it? I like the green of it. Ironic. I live about 20, 20 kilometres from that ground, ah. randomly ah. in England. Yeah, yeah. In England. I live in the next town ah. down from Crewe. Yeah. League that's, two. That's your favourite team. In, no, 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 in no. England. Your, your, what's your team in England? <laughs> Manchester United. <laughs> I don't know how Crewe's made its way over to Budapest. I don't know. <laughs> ah, yes, very nice. Yeah. Probably favourite. Close. I'd probably say the white. That one's probably the best favourite. Cup winners cup. Yeah, the white one. Yeah. Yeah. Because obviously he brought out. Like Rotterdam. Yeah, yeah. Because he brought out uh -huh. the one with the yeah. red devil badge there. I had the Cantona one. Ah, Chelsea Ronaldo. Yeah. Yeah, the banana kitchen. Yeah. yeah, banana. They're very special items. Yeah. Oh yeah, but they're brilliant. They are. Yeah. How did you get hold I of them? Chelsea. Chelsea, all right. Oh dear. I Same as United. I ordered about six or seven hundred pieces from England. Mm. From classic football shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. No classic football shirt, well, yeah. And from vintage football shirt. Ah, yeah, yeah, no, them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get stuff from classic football shirts, yeah. That was very easy. A few years ago, I mm. ordered from classic FedEx. Yeah. And next morning here in Budapest, the items. That was very Brilliant, easy. yeah. This moment. I have four pieces from Brisbane and every brand new with tax. Yeah, great shirt, yeah. Do you like that shirt? Here are all the Arsenal ones, yeah. Fantastic. So how many did you say, sorry, your own personal? How many at home, your own personal? 1,200 pieces. Back up. Oh. What we do that with? Fantastic. With badges, yeah. And every in, in, in box. Yes, brand new. Yeah. <laughs> No, like this. Thirty-five hundred. Look at this Barcelona. Basically, I've been like I've been in classic football shirts. Does he just <laughs> just get me stuff on there? But some of the stuff you can't get in classic football shirts. Right, think we're done. Will we buy anything? Only time will tell the troll. Right, now we can talk a bit properly because they haven't got the, the, the store owner right over me, over my shoulder. Um, I mean that in the respect of what I'm going to say now. I'm not um, Because obviously what a nice bloke, um, his personal collection is absolutely mental, which you might have seen um, that he's showing me on his phone. But after he said, you know, about classic football shirts and he gets all this stuff from there near enough. So it kind of dents it a bit because obviously it's just like classic football shirts in uh, Budapest. Because basically there isn't much out here that will do them type of things. So... Obviously, his price point is reflecting he's got a markup on top of classic football shirts. And obviously, as you know, you can get 20% off on classic football shirts with this code. Um, Kitsman10, or 10% off, in it? Kitsman10, or Away Days 10, I think it is. And you can get 10% uh, off classic football shirts. So basically, he's doing that, buying it over. You saw the custom charge, he's getting like £100, 50 to £100 customs charge on stuff coming over. So obviously he's taking that price because some of the shirts, granted, might not be on classic football shirts anymore. Don't get me wrong, some of them might not. Them England shirts, I'll, do, I'll double check later and see if they're still on there. But you know they were they were pretty cool shirts to find. Really nice bloke. And again, so accommodating like another shop, telling about his personal collection, his badges in the last shop, and now showing about his own, um, obviously his own collection. He had on his phone everything brand new with tags in bags. Collect pristine twelve hundred shirts he had. So, yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. 
goes without saying Budapest has been fantastic so far but like I said um, the shirts are they worth buying I'll check on because it's only literally around the corner from the apartment as I mentioned so I'll make a decision if it's worth uh, actually doing that see what the prices are and see if it's actually worth buying anything from there but again collection is great and if you're living in Budapest you've got to go there I mean come on Lion Sport is absolutely fantastic store because if you're living in Budapest you've, you've really got nothing like it to get them kind of shirts obviously I'm coming as someone from England which can get all them shirts I can go to stores in England so right I'm going to a few vintage shops now and then that'll probably be it for shirt shopping as I mentioned in my last clip you know where I'm going tonight but you have to wait for that video special video bucket list stadium right let's go to the next door filming why crossing the street in Budapest probably not the brightest idea I'll tell you what though one thing being on a diet I'm, I should have mentioned it I mentioned it, I was going to do um, you know weight loss diet and things because obviously as you can tell it needs doing but personal circumstances and things changing life and I don't want to go too deep on the channel but in a minute anyway so I find that difficult because I don't want to go too mad and eat stuff that I'm not meant to eat but I'm doing quite a bit of exercise so we've been struggling hardly yesterday because I couldn't find anything and um, I went to the Aldi and um, yeah that went cash only and people got annoyed with that so we've lost two stone in two months so if everyone can get behind that as well I really much appreciate that so you know by the summer we'll be looking sharp and there's another reason why I don't wear other shirts on the channel it's because embarrassingly I can't fit into them so we're going to change that and um, hopefully you can all get behind me because it's traffic loud anyway and Ellis Platten favourite when he's in Europe or any is Humana 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 vintage shop let's go it's pretty loud isn't it the roads Christ right have we got anything that's football related look at a robot mate look at the uh, I mean that's pretty cool isn't it I mean it's not a shit or anything but it's a pretty cool template that one bro and again god knows they are <laughs> Right, as you saw, uh, Humana, and um, yeah, not too much in Humana. Humana, Humana, pronunciation's good. Um, so, here we are. So yeah, Humana, Humana, what are you going to call it? Not great. Um, got a rebar jacket, which is pretty cool, 16 quid. If that was a tenner, maybe would have gone for it. 16 quid, 15 quid, a little too much. That could be the end for shirt shopping, but don't worry, there is another video to come. When it comes, I don't know, but we want to make that sure that video is really, really good. I think this has been a really good shirt shopping. But leave that there. I will recap and show what we got, if anything. Let's go to future me in the kitchen and let's have a round up. Right, Tom, take it away. Right, I'm back from Budapest. Well, quite a few weeks ago, I'm back from Budapest, but this is the outro for the video. So firstly, what did we think of Budapest? And their shirt hunting options as you can see from the clips folks some very interesting people in the shops and again thank them for the time if they ever watch this hello as I mentioned the first shop with the older gentleman which was he bought stuff from auction I think that was pretty cool some of the stuff condition six sevens out of ten but there was some obviously quite unique shirts as you saw in that shop so that was a proper shirt hunting shop and if you're ever in Budapest you've got to get yourself that shop because I think it was top draw as to a shop, like I mentioned in the video, it is basically classic football shirts, Budapest, because that's where he gets his stock from, and that's fair enough, that's his business model. Obviously, we've got that, we've got two shops, we can get it online, we can get it easily. Over there, as I found out, it's not as, as easy to get football shirts, so obviously he's marketing it more for people of Budapest, which it will work well there, but the price is obviously, we can get the shirts cheaper with discount codes and um, the postage obviously and no customs charge which he was getting but still a great shop and a very nice gentleman as you saw when he was showing me on his phone phone we know what a phone is Tom he was obviously showing us his personal collection and some of the shirts there were magnifique but he's got them saved away for a rainy day so the trip to Budapest it turned into a three part mini series as the intro said it was only two parts it was three parts and you've seen all three by now I hope if you're not come on um, so, of course, we did um, the Pancho Arena. I wasn't the first person there. I was the, no, I was a joint first person there. Fusion Josh, massive YouTuber, 60,000 subscribers. That video's got over 15,000 views. And um, 
Yeah, I, he did a great job. Wish I knew he was there. Yeah, he obviously where probably doesn't know who I am. Because uh, in his video he mentions, oh, and it must be the first day, etc. But no, Josh, you weren't. We were joint first, my friend. Um, and in his video I can see myself in the background in the press area. But that video isn't doing too well. And he's a bit disappointing. I appreciate he's not going to get 15,000 views. But it's only just over 100. I mean, for a 60,000 sub YouTuber to be there at the same time shows the level of video that he's at. And... Obviously, you might have a better camera and stuff, but I think the footage is quite similar from what I've seen. So, if you haven't watched this video here, I go to one of the top three stadiums in world football. And as in the press area, it's a really unique experience. So, please show me some love on that video because the cost, I've got no sponsor. is Everything's out of my back pocket. I mean, people need to appreciate that when they're watching those type of videos and the effort that I'm putting in for the channel because, you know, that trip to that stadium was that. But as I mentioned... 606 subscribers we had a 500 sub giveaway and that video is only currently on 315 views so i'll put a link to it here and below we need another 185 views in that video before we can do the giveaway so not too many more views and you have to like the video to win a free mystery box plus another shirt in there so for watching a video and just liking it you get something for free i think it's a no-brainer so please check out that video to enter the 500 sub giveaway but like i said we are on 606 we've had a bit of a rise from 500 quite quickly which i'm very proud of and appreciate everyone that's already subscribed budapest done get watching the mini series which i do a playlist for the mood budapest mini series is an absolute cracker if i do say so myself but come on let's get the views up on that video it's a really really good video and give it a thumbs up and one more thing a sub that'd be brilliant but also ding dong the notification bell is pretty youtube cringy but I don't upload on a certain day anymore. Videos are coming out as and when. So make sure you don't miss a video. Just click it there. Ding, ding, ding. Yes, we know what a bell is. But then you'll know, notify every time I upload. But the burning question is, I'm sure the burning question is, did we buy anything from Buddha Pest? We did get one thing. It's a little bit different. We did get one thing. It's not for me. It's for a special guest of the video. Let's roll back to my school days. So Tom... At my old primary school, take it away. Right, I'm here at my old primary school. This is Mr. Hudson, he was my year six teacher, but now he's still here. Uh, and I'm, now he's headmaster, so yeah, he'd be a year six teacher, that would have been 98. Yeah, 98, yeah. Yeah, that's when I went to high school. Um, as you saw, I was in the kitchen. Um, it's a little bit different. We went shirt hunting in Budapest and I mentioned it at the time, if we can roll that clip. Middlesbrough. No, he's a class, proper classic. Would be a gift from a headmaster. I said like a headmaster of a dozen school. I never get told you actually. And anyway, headmaster of a dozen school is, was my teacher in year six. I saw a Middlesbrough shirt, 2001, 2002. Middlesbrough shirt. Wow. <laughs> it's a little bit different. We've got, we've, done it. we've got a gift this week. I couldn't find. Anything to do with myself, I thought this was quite unique. 2001, 2002. Uh, Mills Railway shirt. That's it. Oh, tell that taste. Wow. Thank you very much. I spent years trying to get you to be a Borough fan, you see. <laughs> Still can't get you away from United. Fantastic. That is amazing. I can't believe so, yeah. you went all that way and you found it. You thought me. What's up, man? Yeah, there's a clip of it. The clip of the just rolled, I didn't mention you know, the time I saw it. I thought, well. I went back the next day and thought, yeah, it'd be a good idea to get it. That season, um, you're going to really jog your memory out to do some research. Uh, it's the first season under Steve McLaren. Yeah. FA Cup semi-final. Yeah. And in that shirt, winning at Old Trafford. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's actually got some, um, obviously, history to that shirt for that the, the first season it would have been worn. Brilliant. That's superb. Well, thank you very much. It's really much appreciated. That's anyone wearing that shirt. The first person I fought when I saw that shirt was Alan Botsich. All oh, right, yeah. I don't yeah. know if you've, anyone. I remember Botsich, yeah, yeah. Um, I can't think of anyone off the top of my head now, no. I was a bit surprised. Thank you very much for <laughs> me. That's really kind. Uh, I think Nemeth, I think he wore eight. Uh, yeah. The other striker, yeah, but yeah, so I thought, I've done some research. I thought, yeah, what an old traffic that. And again, in them times, that's when United were not like they are now, red up then. So yeah, it was good to win an FA Cup so far that it was. To Arsenal, I think, is no goal. Gianluca Festa, the centre back. Oh, right, yeah, I remember Festa. Yeah, yeah um, so it was no goal, yeah. But yeah, Thank I think it's a great shirt. I think they've redone it a few times, that, that shape. I think that's one of the first ones. And I think that sponsor is very Middlesbrough. 
Yeah. Uh, BT BT sell that. So that's uh, super. Legit and everything. Yeah, proper shit. It was um, a really small shop, and you wouldn't have found it um, unless you obviously researched it. So you wouldn't could walk across it. Um, and I've, as people have seen on the clip before, the old gentleman that run it, he goes like auctions in Budapest and right. comes across, say, have the um, Leicestershire, LG, uh, Dean stories on the back. I had some really random old school stuff, but yeah, so it's all happened for you. Oh, that's really kind. Thank you very much, Tom. Yeah. Very much appreciated. And it's nice because I've been watching you and uh, I've been following you for a little while now, so I've seen some of the bits that you've been doing. So thank you very much for thinking of me whilst you've been travelling. No, no problem. Well, good luck with everything. Thank you very much. Right, um, I'll end it here. Well, I usually end it in my kitchen, but I'll end it here at my old primary school. I've been Shirt Hunter. Shirt Hunter, out.